Warning. The show you're about to see contains material unsuitable for children and questionable among most adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome, 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 welcome. We got a great show for you tonight. Tommy McNamara is here. We got a great show for you tonight. Sty Dyed is here. You know, uh, this episode reminds me, housing structure. I myself write my jokes with a three-part structure. <laughs> I myself write my jokes with a three-part structure. Set up punchline silence. 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 <laughs> Hiya, sweetheart. You look gorgeous today. Oh, thank you, Chip. I was just... Looking out on the vistas, today was a better day. I, I finally talked to my mother and I can now hold a spoon in my left hand. Oh, that's real swell to hear. <laughs> Say, you, you know I'm real sweet on you, right? Of course, Chip, I'm sweet on you too, plenty. Well, I've been getting ideas, I've been reading this book, see, and uh... What silly book are you reading, Chip? Well, why don't you take a look? From teens to marriage, <laughs> gosh, dating experience is a part of the process of growing up. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop. Gee, this is an amazing ring. May I? Oh, will you? <laughs> You'll make me the happiest man in the world <laughs> if you do. <laughs> you put it on me. Okay. Boy, I sure was nervous. I wasn't Me sure too. what you'd say. Oh, Chip, I've got to tell you something. I've been daydreaming about this all day. A place maybe I've told you about before with amazing beachfront property and a lake in the middle of it. Wait, are you talking about the place I think you're talking about? Yes, Chip, I am. Canary <laughs> Island! <laughs> Fantastic open house. Yes, yes. 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 So we get to do it. We have so much fun. Do we have so much fun? Oh my god! Fantastic. We got the pens out here. The closet's empty. You know, it's nice and nice. Lots of dust in here. I sold the property on the lake last week. Oh my god! Gosh. To who? And for how much? To the Clarks for two point five million. The Clarks told me that they were looking at another property on the other side of town. going. Well, they must just be pulling your leg because I sold it to them. Okay, we got the balloons. Oh, the pillows. Do you have the cheese? The cheese. Cheese. Oh my God. Cheese. Oh, please. Just don't be in such a fuss. You're doing such a good job. Thanks so much. You did such an amazing so job planning this. Thing. You know you were. You are really hard. doing an amazing Thank job. You but so where much. are the cheese? It's really. You're right. Okay, you're <laughs> hassling her. I'm not hassling her. Oh come on. I won't Enough. get into this now. There's no more cheese. Uh, okay, that's okay, that's what have you been doing differently? I got rid of all the things in my closet I decluttered recently. Really? Yes. You look great. Thank you. I got rid of six coats. Oh my god, where did you learn that? Well, a certain method. You hold things to your chest and see what sparks joy, and I got rid of a lot of things that way. Really? Yes. Can I try? Sure. Mm, Don't mean to interrupt. I heard you got rid of six coats. I'm actually looking for six coats. Oh, I've already <laughs> donated them. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so cold. Never mind. <laughs> well, tell me more. Well, you see, I uh, put things in a little piles. I said, these things I absolutely 
don't enjoy, and these things I absolutely do enjoy, and that's how I did it all, you see. And where did you learn that? Did you read something? It was a little method, just a little book. Are you doing all right? Do you need Cheez-Its? I'm doing great. I actually don't need Cheez-Its. That's fine. I just think it's so good that you're always finding a hobby to keep yourself busy. That's what I've always liked about you. I enjoy it about you. Yes, yes, I like that about you, too. I kiss, kiss. I don't know if hmm. she meant that. She didn't. This is a cutthroat industry. Don't you dare stomp at me like some sort of matador. Wait, wait. Who's selling this house tonight? Me. Uh, me. Me. I'm I going am. to sell I. the house. My name's right on the guest list first name but there. I put my, my, put mine second. as well. Well, I mine was the first name. So you know, I'm in, selling the house. In Hebrew, it's backwards, and I did it that way. Well, that's not the rules we're playing by tonight. Not here tonight on Cranberry Island. We're not doing it that way. Well, the ru there are no rules in real estate. First one to flip them gets to tick them. Tick them how? <laughs> Tickle them, you know. Well, we definitely subscribe to different philosophies when it comes to real estate then, because I think there are rules. Enjoy following them. What's that sound? Oh, it's the doorbell. A guest? Huh? Hold on. Oh, a guest. Hold oh. on. How do I look? How do I look? Oh, you look fine. Don't, don't touch her. Come on, don't touch me, but you look good. Stop. Hey, stop it. I hope we like this one, and that they're not like the last girl. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Hi, we just arrived on Cranberry Island, and we noticed an open house. We're newlyweds. <laughs> yes. Congratulations to us. <laughs> That's a shame. Good to meet you. Uh, fantastic. Come. Well, Come right in, come right in. Come, come right in. in. Where are my manners? Well, oh, oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. You sure are beautiful. beautiful. Wow. Wow. Do you sign the guest? Oh, 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 you. Oh, you. Sign the guest. Oh, 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 all you have to do is oh, 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 bend over. Oh, 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 ladies, ladies, ladies. Just bend over. All right, all right, enough, ladies, enough. I can't do this. Chip? You sure are friendly here in Cranberry Island. I thought you might be a little stuck up. We can't do this without proper introductions, please. Sweetheart, I'm Kenny. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, I'm Ruby. Hi. Well, Butters. <laughs> Ruby. I'm Cartman. <laughs> Ruby, nice to meet you. And I'm Timmy. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Good to see you. I'm Chip. Uh, All right, okay. 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 Well, I've always wanted to come to Cranberry Island. It's really a, just such a pleasure. Mm. Yes. I've, I've dreamt about this place. I'm it's been sure. sort of a safe space uh, through some traumatic <laughs> times. But, um, oh, honey, we'd love to have I'm you. I'm so well, sorry you've time. been through a bad time. You know what? Relax with us. <laughs> and you you should hang out with our husbands. Come oh, on. no, yes. absolutely love to not. see the fellas. No. You, know, you, you should here. actually... Find we some time out with women. Let them go check on their husband. All right, guys. Oh, Chip. Have Chip. some fun. Oh, this this is Chip. I am so sorry Show for those way those do. women are. They're absolutely unbelievable. I'm so Chip. sorry about that. No. Lady. How are you feeling? Did you sign the Chip. guest book? Oh, of course I did. Um, Chip. I'm a little bit. I'm, mm. I'm a little bit exhausted okay. from the boat and the ferry and the the carriage. That oh, I'm <laughs> sure you are. It's a pretty thing like you. How did you happen to get in Cranberry Island by chance? What brought you here? Well, it's a bit embarrassing, but I've dreamt of this place for many years, and real estate is sort of a hobby of mine. I, I mean, it's sort of embarrassing. Just the beachfront property here is out of control. Real estate? My god, I hope I wasn't making myself vulnerable in front of a prospective realtor. Oh, absolutely not. I'm just a newly engaged young girl looking at her future with excitement. <laughs> as you should, as you should. You're so young, so gorgeous. Thank you. You know, I usually don't enjoy much competition. I think that much should be pretty plain, pretty clear to you. But I can't help but give you a few tips if you're going to get into real estate. You might as well learn from me. They all did. Oh, oh that sounds extremely exciting. Well, it is. It absolutely is. You know, they'll tell you a lot of things about real estate. They'll tell you that it's extremely hard, which it is. They'll tell you that after two years, you'll quit, which is probably true. Right. But what they won't tell you, and which is something you need to know, is that buying and selling a home is a personal matter. It's a personal thing, you understand, Ruby. You need to understand a person's wants and a person's needs. You need to have a person, bring them into whatever space you're in, and tell them 
Look them dead in the eye and see right through them. See what they want. See what they really need. <laughs> Gosh. Does that make sense? Of course it does. I just got carried. You gotta cut right through the person, you understand? So, let's say, let's take a little experiment, shall we? Can you look at me? Can you tell what I want? Can you tell what I need? Um, sure. <laughs> so, sell me this house then. Okay. Try a little mm. game, sell me the house. Well, it seems like you're an independent woman. A woman that puts one pant leg on at a time. That would give way to the beautiful moldings, the beige sponge paint. What about the beige sponge paint? It's dynamic. It's a choice. And it's uniquely yours. You're good. Extremely yours. Keep going, don't stop. And I hope you don't mind if I just tidy up and change a little bit. Of course not. These shoes, you understand? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, the Granite Kitchen Island is only one, not only for a family, but also a personal touch. Yes, One I'm that listening. reminds you of the future and the past. The sliding doors and the beautiful ocean lapping up right at your backyard. Sort of one of romance, <laughs> but sweetness. One of a family, maybe, or just of a weekend getaway. Endless possibilities in this house. Endless dreams. Endlessly changing. Like a woman. From girl to mother to grandmother to angel. Fantastic. Tell me a little bit more about the moldings, my darling. The moldings? Well, they seem to be mid-century, but I'm sure they were done just a year ago by a strong man, hands calloused with care and affection. He doesn't bother with new architecture magazines, but just the care of his love of space and the beach, of course. Absolutely. You look absolutely Beautiful, I. <laughs> and you look beautiful in this house. Oh, thank you. Keep telling me about this house. What are you doing? Oh, hi. I'm sorry. Can you explain to me what's going on and why you need a silk robe to sell a house? Excuse me. I am. Come on. Hey. No. Not at all. I, just I understand no, I just female I friendships, they can get a bit a intense. Bit messy. <laughs> yes. Well, that's a perfect segue into talk about the market. What do you know about the real estate market? Oh, well, me being very young and very much in love with Chippy. And very beautiful and open to new things. <laughs> sure. I think a market is sort of like a marriage. It's a union of many different things, working as one. And it can end at any moment. <laughs> Unexpectedly, because of something new and exciting, right? Yeah, like a new product or house. Exactly, now, the first thing you need to know in order to sell a house is what it's like to be in one. Have you ever lived in a house, Ruby? Embarrassingly enough, I've only lived in a duplex. Ah, uh, well, you can sell those. What I like to do when I'm selling a new property is to live in it for as long as I can. Now, typically, that involves a lot of sneaking around, as the owners don't like to know I'm here. Right. And I don't want them to find me either. OK. But I have to. You know, I've learned in my time sneaking how to make any cracker into an animal cracker. What? Yes, all it takes is a little bit of fine punching, and next thing you know, it's a giraffe. Ruby. 
Ruby. Yes? Is this making sense? Is this sitting in, right? I suppose so. It. You have to bear with me. I'm a bit new to all of this. Oh, yes. I'll bear with you through anything, including a pregnancy. Oh. Ruby, I'm teasing you. <laughs> I'm teasing you. Pardon me if I'm a little off. It's my first time right side up in a few days. <laughs> well, oh, come on. Well, don't be shy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, pleasure to meet you. You can take this engagement ring off, right? Oh, but Chippy bought it with his oh. army money. His what money? His army money. He's a soldier. He can go away any minute. Maybe. Oh, Hope that's not. fantastic. Ruby, I have a little real estate book that I'd love for you to read. Yeah? It's actually a book I wrote. It's called If You Want to Sell This House, well, God damn it, you're gonna have to sell it. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. The title's a little misleading because it's actually about my favorite sounds. This was before I was doing real estate. Now there's some helpful stuff in here. Are you hard of seeing? No. Why don't you get closer? Heck, why don't you hold the book yourself? Oh, go from, ahead. Hold. From over here? Oh, Ruby, why don't you just cut my breasts? Cut your what? Excuse oh, come me. On. What is going on here? I'm teaching her how to sell a house, something you could never do. Sell a house? Yes. Those don't look like houses to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and they don't feel like any either. Really? Yes. You, well, you wouldn't know, would you? Because you Yes, I would. <gasps> Such a mess. And I left poor Ruby unattended. Yes, you oh, did. I need to you left her unattended. I need to freshen up. Uh, hey, Rose. Sorry. Uh, uh, can I have a word, please? Uh, of course, Chippy. What's up? I think that maybe we should skedaddle. Why, Chip? I just met all these lovely ladies, and you know how bad I need to live on Cranberry Island. Well, yes, I, I do, but I think maybe this house isn't the right one. Maybe we could look uptown. What do you mean, Chip? I certainly love this house. It's just like ones from my dreams. You know, all those nights Mama was yelling and Daddy was gone. And... I can't go back there, Chip. I know. We don't, I'm not saying we got to go back. I just, there's been a little bit of fighting, and uh, the, the fellas there don't seem to really like me that much. And Have you noticed the, the person sleeping, I'm assuming? What? Uh, I just, I get, a, I get the heebie-jeebies around here. I think it's fine, Chip. I really, really do. Well, uh, all right. I, I guess I'll let you have a... Your girl time and uh, yeah, they're just, just girls, Chip. Just you wouldn't mind, get it. <laughs> I'm keeping mind though. These are these aren't Maplewood people. These are these are they're a little slicker. They might try to scam you or something. You've been reading those real estate books, haven't you? Yes, yeah, sure, Chip. I have. All right. Well, if you need me, I'll be with the fellas trying to forge a friendship. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. You're the best. I'm so sweet on you, it's crazy. Mm, let's shake hands. Of course. <laughs> All right. There we go. Ruby. Oh, hello. Would you like to listen to music? Sure I would. Well, let's listen. 
listen to some Stide Eyed. How? <laughs> I love this. We're I, so alike. Yeah, sure we are. Oh, I would just die to be a Cranberry Island girl like you. Well, you can be, Ruby. All you have to do is be yourself. Sorry, these are my pills. Your pills? Yes, my pills. <laughs> They're fun to do. Don't you want to do some too? Why do you take some, Ruby? Don't they taste good? They're kind of chalky and sweet. I've got all different types from this little contraption. He's a fish, and he pulls out a pill of your choice for anxiety, depression, uh, all sorts of things, and that's how you run Cranberry Island. <laughs> Gee whiz, Cranberry Island sure's not in the field, eh? Why didn't we kiss, Ruby? <laughs> What about Chip? Where's Chip? Chip? Yeah. Who the hell is Chip? Why don't you take a couple more pills from my fish? Oh, he's just my fiance! Just your fiance? I don't think you want that sort of fiance. What do you say, Mr. Fish? I don't think you want that sort of fiance. Seems like somebody's wise. <gasps> oh, God. Jimmy. Ruby, I'm sorry. It's the pills. I'm blind. <laughs> Timmy, what are you doing to her? Leave her alone. <laughs> Look at you. You're uh, blind? Uh, I'm blind, Ruby. Yes, yes, Your yes, pills sir. made you stupid again. No, no. The pills. The pills? The Ruby, pills? get away from her. She's not well. <laughs> She's right. The pills make me Stupid! <laughs> Once again, you have made this open house unbearable. Another open house down the drain. Get a hold of yourself, please! Ah! Oh, I can't! The fish, he says, no! Get a hold of yourself! Oh! 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 to do. The pills make me stupid. It's not me, it's the pills. Eventually in your life, you're gonna have to stop blaming other things now look what for you've your done. problems. You've opened my pants. At least put a finger in or something. <laughs> Please. Here. What'd you say so, fellas? <laughs> oh, well, um, did you just catch the game the other night? Uh, well, um, it's real nice. No? Oh, <laughs> we're spinning now? <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, I don't know if you guys uh, fancy music at all. 
Uh, but uh, there's a real good uh, band. Uh, uh, they recently released their funeral EP on King Pizza. Uh, please give it up for Stardide. <laughs> So sorry. Could you ever forgive us for what just happened? I, I guess. I'm just so confused. I, I've always loved Cranberry Island so much. As a young girl, I would flip through pages of magazines, 
while the horrible things in the basement would happen. And now, all this fighting, all this pain, that poor woman on those pills, I, it's making me doubt my love of real estate. I've got to be honest. <laughs> oh, Ruby, do not fret. Cranberry Island isn't all what it's chalked up to be, I know. I was young like you once. I came here with my father. He was an amazing real estate agent. He showed me the ropes. He showed me how to sell, how to move property, how to sell things on Marsh. Marsh. A lot of people can do that, you know. Of course I know. That's almost impossible. Cranberry Island is almost 99% marshland property. Everything sinks within two years into the ground, into the sand. It's all on sand. All on sand? Yes. But they don't tell you that. There's a lot of stuff about Cranberry Island they don't tell you, Ruby. And I think someone as kind and pure and wholesome as yourself I feel crazy saying it, but maybe you aren't best suited to be here. What? These women are not well. Wait. You saw it. You saw what happened there. You're... They fight. They fight. They carry on with these fake, this, this facade. They're all trying to move houses. They're all sick. She gave you pills. You're right. You're right. Oh, thank God. Why? <laughs> it's okay. We can get your stomach pumped in a moment. Oh, thank It'll you. It'll be fine. <sighs> you know, I hate to see you cry because I saw you earlier and your face was glowing. It truly was. And... I remember that youth. I once had it myself. I can and see. And then I moved here. I used to read magazines too, you know. I used to read magazines with my mother while my father was doing real estate. Do you know what magazines I used to read? What? Big magazine. Everything in it is huge. Have you seen it? It's a magazine full of huge things. Not small things. They look small because of the pictures, but you can tell because of... They're big. Yes. You get it. You absolutely get it. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. What is something that you liked to do at home before you moved here or you came here? Well, I practice scales on the piano. <laughs> I don't tell many people this, but I always like to hold Chip's hand. And, of course, talking to my mother through my teddy bear. Oh, yes. Chip seems like a very swell man. He's lucky, you know, and you are lucky to have him. He seems to very much care for you. I can see that. I can see good in people, because, I don't know, it's something that my mother taught me. My father taught me how to sell marsh property. My mother taught me how to see good in others. Can I tell you something? Something honest? I would love that, please. Your hands are so warm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm wearing these gloves. Let me take them off. <laughs> I know this is probably crazy, but what say you and I go into the basement of this building and sit on the washing machine together <laughs> like me and my mother used to do? Get away from these crazy girls and just prop up, prop up and let the, the, the wishy-washy shake it around, all tingly up, all tingly up your leg, up inside, it's just warm, just sit. Me and my mother used to just sit on the washing machine together while my Carmen. father was selling marshland Carmen. and then the Carmen, vibration. what are you doing? Come on. Carmen, stop that. What? You swindled a young woman for the last time. Now, what the hell is this about? What are you talking about? This is the last open house. You, you had your time. <laughs> You had your time, and now I need to get some gushy too. No, it's true. Get it You made me drop it. Get it. Stop 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 it. Stop
with our husbands. Yes. 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 Put up some husband. music. Yes. Get over here. Come, Come on, on baby. Come on. My husband. Come on. Was there a time for all moments ago? Oh. No, no, no. There was never a time for all. Let's dance. Oh, honey, how I missed you. Yes. Good to see you. Very good to see you. And then I was I telling you, I had, I had, I had things pie. are getting weirder and weirder. Yes, I have a lot of time. Notice something about all the fellas. The dead eyes, the dead stares, the expressionless faces. Certainly. I don't know if these women love their husbands. Well, they must love somebody. I sure love you, Chip. That's what I know. I love you so much and I want to hold your hand for the rest of my life. Oh, so do I. <laughs> There's nothing I'm happier than... Holding your hand! <laughs> well, uh, did you hear a turtle? A turtle? Uh, my cousin, he used to work at a turtle farm and I'd hear these noises all the time. I got my turtle? Wait! Do you like it? I gave myself a perm as best I could. <laughs> Next year, you like it? Nantucket for your birthday. How do you like that? I, mean, I said Nantucket for your I've birthday. I've got to be honest, Chip. It is a beautiful house and maybe, maybe it would be a beautiful new start for us. I got the heebies. And you know how I am when I get the heebies. I know there's something bizarre here. Chip, but I've got to be honest. There's something keeping me here. There's something keeping me here. Is it you're afraid? Do you not want to go back to Maplewood? I don't know. I, I, there's just something, something in the air. That is keeping me here, right, right here. Something. Let's go. No, I, no, I, no, I can't. I, I can't possibly. Come on. <laughs> Why are you resisting? It's a strange attachment I have to this land. A strange attachment I have to this dream. Can't a girl breathe? Can't a girl just want a beautiful home? A beachside property home, just with her and her chip, oh sweetie chip, sweetie Sweeterson's chip. I must admit, I am learning a lot from these women, even if they are peculiar and rather violent. They have a tenacity about them, a drama, a, an independence that my mother was never around to teach me. I know the feeling, and I know this feels like a dream, but all you need is one spooky clown to make it a nightmare. And I see a lot of spooky people around here. And I see somebody colored in a, a tone that's not quite their skin. Just shut up, Chip. I gotta go back in there. Something's drawing me towards these women. No, no. Let's Let's go see what Ruby's doing. Oh, oh yes, Ruby. Oh, hey, Ruby. 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 What are you doing? Did you see what's happening? Yes. Oh, oh, I, oh, you look oh, great you're today. Are you cold? Oh, I'm so cold. Oh, cold. I, oh, come but on. What's going, what's going on? What's going on? Do you want me to touch your knees? Come on. Don't know what's happening. You're great. Oh, look at your jacket. Why don't you get that off? Oh, she has cold. Oh, she's cold. She's so cold. You know what? Fine, I'm just joking. No, I was just, I was just, I was just talking to Chip. I, I was just talking oh, to Chip. Oh, about him. Oh, oh. Who's oh, that Chip? little monster? Chip. Who's Chip? It's fucking like Chucky's or what is it? Honey, let's get you to the guest book. Let's sign it again. Oh, let's yeah. sign the guest oh, book. Oh, oh, let's go yes. sign it again. I'll go get it. Oh, oh Ruby, oh. you have the most wonderful handwriting. I've never seen Ooh. penmanship like quite it. like Beautiful. it. You know, you yeah. can tell a lot of personality. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Sign it. Oh. Oh. Sign it again. Yes. 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 I don't want to. Sign. I don't want to. Sign. Sign. Oh. Oh. Oh.
plaything. I might be a beautiful young girl, but I'm not your plaything. I'm an independent woman, just wanting a house. You evil women with your violent intentions. I just wanted a house, like every girl in America wants. I had a very dramatic childhood, one I cannot recall. Because the trauma was so much, my memories forever altered. I speak to my mother through a teddy bear. All I wanted was central heating and a beachside property on Cranberry Island. I finally found a man who wanted to put a ring on my finger. And I come here and I get torn to bits by your power hungry power suits. All you want me to be is a Object, a nasty little sex object. That's not no. true, Ruby. No. I had no. enough. You've nearly brainwashed me. And little do you know, I've noticed that dead body in the corner the whole goddamn time. Yes, it's wrapped in plastic wait, in wait, the corner wait, of this house. Why would not take us to it? What are you talking about? Where's the dead body? Dead body. There's no dead body. Right there, there's the dead body. I don't see a dead body. Scoot back.
Oh, sweetums. Oh, sweetums. This chaos. Uh, I think we better go back to Maplewood. Cranberry Island's not made for people like you and I. Absolutely not, Chip. What? In this brief afternoon, I've learned what right and wrong was. I've looked evil straight in the face and it stared back at me lust and power. I'm not wearing my sweater anymore. You've gone mad. It's cold. I got a blazer and I'm gonna sell this goddamn house if it kills me. Chip, here's your ring. What? And kiss your sweetie goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Have at me, ladies. I'm one of the game now. I can't possibly sell this house. There's no way we can flip no this property. No, this no way we can sell no, this house. No, no way. No one can. No. We're gonna no have to That's listen. fine. Here's a smack on all of your faces.
have music. Our guests. We have the painter. We have a pen. We have a pen. We have a pen. We have a pen. Let's use this as a pen. I know. I know the letter C. Oh, I know sharp. C sharp. I can say that. you think you're some musical genius now? Get over it, bitch. My pants, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you my little teeny weeny thong underwear. I turn around, and I do a little booty dance, and everybody smiles and laughs. And then we all go to the room You're together and we lay. Me. No, I'm <laughs> Okay, I take off my shirt, and each one of you gives me the best massage you can think of. And Happy my eyes are closed, so I have to guess which one is the one that gave me the massage. Well, well you'll know which one is me because my hands are slippery. And That's you know true. I do deep tissue. And you know which one will be me because I'm allergic to massage oils, bitch! Oh! Uh-oh.